going to start off by mentioning a trigger warning. Um, this is a very harrowing case. Uh, it involves the murder of four people, three children and a mother. Um, this happened in England, Derbyshire in England on Sunday, September the 19th, uh, 2021. And um, all of the victims have now been laid to rest. Uh, I'm going to read through the article in full. I'm going to go through that. We'll have a look at some of the pictures of the, the victims as well as the ceremony. Um, and links in the description should you wish to go through that in, in your own time. Also, there's a link in the description to this song here, which I'll mention at this stage. Um, the article lets us know that the father of two of the children that uh, were murdered um, played and sang this song uh, at the uh, ceremony, uh, the funeral. It was their favourite song that they would sing together. Uh, and it's a touching song. So there's a link in the description to to that. Um, if you wanted to listen to that. Uh, so again, I'm going to go through the entire article. Um, uh, so we'll do that respectfully. And of course, it's a tragic event. Uh, condolences and prayers uh, to the family the extended family and and the father in particular um the okay so the headline is two children killed at a sleepover are laid to rest two days after their mother was laid to rest uh, so a brother 13 years of age a sister 11 years of age who died alongside their mother 35 years of age as well as a school friend 11 years of age are buried at a private funeral. Uh, a brother and sister who were killed during a sleepover have been buried in a private funeral just two days after their mother was laid to rest. John Paul Bennett, 13, and his sister Lacey, 11, were found dead alongside their mother Terry Harris, 35, and Lacey's friend Connie Gents, also 11, during a sleepover last month. Their bodies were discovered by police who had been called to reports of concerns for a man's safety in Killamarsh, Derbyshire on Sunday, September the 19th. I'm just going to clarify this sentence here because uh, it confused me whilst I was reading through the article. The bodies were discovered by police who had been called to reports of concerns for a man's safety. That man was the alleged murderer. Um, so the alleged murderer uh, seemingly, allegedly, uh, potentially had a self-inflicted stab wound. And I believe the uh, alleged murderer's brother... Uh, I believe, um, contacted the police who came around to attend to the murderer. Um, so again, this is John Paul Bennett, 13 years of age, his sister Lacey, 11. Uh, this is the mother, uh, Terry. The mother is Terry Harris. And also this is Lacey's friend, uh, Connie Gent. So Connie Gent was at the house because they were having a sleepover. <clears throat> um. Okay. Damien Bendel, Miss Harris's boyfriend, the mother is charged with all four murders and has been remanded in custody. The 31-year-old is due to stand trial in March. Uh, so it was the mother's boyfriend uh, who is alleged to be the, murder, the murderer of uh, all four victims. 
The tragic siblings were buried at a private ceremony on Saturday, two days after mourners lined the streets to say goodbye to their mother. Their heartbroken father, Jason Bennett, had previously asked mourners to learn and sing along to The Greatest Showman's Never Enough. Um, so that's the song that I've mentioned here. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to listen to that. I won't play that, um, you know, due to copyright and things like that. But uh, you might like to listen to that. So the father, Jason Bennett, uh, had asked mourners to learn and sing along to The Greatest Showman's Never Enough. He said he would sing the song from the Hugh Jackman blockbuster with his beautiful babies while driving in his car and it held special memories for him. At Mr. Bennett's request, his children's funeral de details were kept private and only close friends and family attended the service. He previously posted on Facebook a message to everyone attending my baby's funeral. All are welcome. I have a request to anyone who can help me on the day. Me and my babies always used to sing a certain song in our car and belt it out like nothing else matters. I'm trying to stay strong and while I'm carrying both my babies on my shoulders, I'm determined to belt the song they love out loud as if they were in our car. Sing along if you like and give me hope and strength and celebrate my beautiful, happy babies my love to everyone the children's funeral was held just days after well-wishers lined the streets outside st giles's church in Killamarsh, on the outskirts of sheffield for the funeral of the mother terry harris a white carriage pulled by two horses carried the coffin of the west ham fan uh, west ham is a soccer team football team premier league football team uh, in england uh, a white carriage pulled by two horses carried the coffin of the West Ham fan who had a blue and claret themed service in a nod to her beloved team. Flowers were laid on top of it as well as on top of the casket while flowers were laid outside the chapel. Mourners bowed their heads as the procession went by and many appeared to be sobbing. One card read, My lovely friend Terry, I will treasure the memories we made. May you and your babies rest in perfect peace. Two doves and blue and pink balloons were released at the end of the service. Only close family and friends were able to attend the church service, but it was relayed on loudspeakers, which could be heard within the church grounds. Uh, the service was followed by a private cremation in nearby Chesterfield. Miss Harris, the mother, uh, a care worker, was born in the East End of London, where she lived until she was 17, when she moved to Sheffield with her mother. Uh, her family said she would regularly travel to Essex to spend time with her father. In the wake of the tragic deaths on the 19th of September, the devastated father of... of uh, terry harris um the devastated father collapsed in tears as he laid flowers near the the home where they were killed mr bennett um stayed at the scene for more than half an hour and said he was heartbroken million pieces shattered so i believe that's referring to the father jason bennett um there's, there's jason with john paul and Lacey. There's the white carriage, white horse drawn carriage. So this is for the mother's uh, funeral, which happened two days prior to the children's funeral. In a statement, he said, uh, Mr. Bennett said, uh, life will never be the same again. Families have been left broken by the awful loss of John, Lacey, Terry and Connie. I've been left broken. I'm devastated. John and Lacey came into our lives and brought so much love and happiness and were adored by myself and their big sisters, forever loved and remembered. 
We would also like to thank everyone for their loving support and our thoughts go out to everyone affected by the tragic loss of four precious lives. Connie's father, Charles Gent, said, The pain is indescribable. I wake up every morning hoping this has all been a terrible nightmare, but it's not. It's the unbearable reality that my little girl has gone. Connie was an absolute superstar in every way. She had a gift. If someone was down, she could instantly make them feel okay. She lit up every room she went in and meant something to everyone she came across, even in hard times. Connie had the ability to keep everyone smiling. This by far is the hardest thing I have ever had to go through. It still doesn't even feel real. And the father continues, fly safe, my angel. They came for you and left me behind. I could never say goodbye, so I'll, I'll see you soon. I love you more than you can possibly imagine forever and always. Uh, Miss Harris's parents, uh, so the mother's parents, Angela Smith and Lawrence ha Harris, issued a joint statement. They said, our Terry, our daughter, our world, our everything... From the day she was born, she was our princess and remained so until she was cruelly taken away from us. She was an amazing mum. Her babies were her world. Terry would put herself out not just for her family and friends, but anyone who needed her help. She absolutely loved her work as a care worker and would go above and beyond for the people she cared for. She will be missed more than any words can ever express. Not only by her family, but by anyone who had the privilege to have been in her life. I'll just pause. I'll just pause and, you know, we'll look at this image here. This is the alleged murderer, Damien Bendel. He's due to appear in Nottingham Crown Court on November the 26th. Um... So that's that's Damien Bendel, the boyfriend of uh, Terry, the mother. An inquest opening into the deaths heard a coroner was awaiting full post mortem full post mortem reports, but said they died following a violent attack. Chesterfield Coroner's Court heard a relative of Bendel had called the police. Uh, to say the defendant had sustained a self-inflicted stab wound. Um, area coroner Peter Nieto was told cops were met by Bendel, Daniel Bendel, at the address and entered the house where they found the bodies. Bendel is due to enter a plea to the charges at Nottingham Crown Court on November the 26th. Um, so, okay, I'll just say a couple of things. Um, this is an error, I believe. Uh, this incident happened in Derbyshire and uh, Dorset Police is not in that area. So that seems to be an error as far as I can ascertain. Um, and as far as I understand, um, what does this mean? Well, I... You know, I'm not I I'm not a legal expert in any way, shape or form. I'm a layman. I don't know too much about this kind of thing, despite me having a channel um, covering these topics, which I've recently started. Uh, but I believe if if uh, Bendel is due to enter a plea to the charges, I believe that's an admission of guilt. Um, as far as I understand, uh, I could be wrong. Um there's this tragic story here. Uh, again, obviously, condolences and prayers to all concerned, the, the family, the, the father of the, the fathers of the children, and also the parents of uh, Terry, the mother. All concerned, uh, condolences and prayers to all concerned, as well as to the communities which will be rocked 
uh, by such a heinous crime. Uh, the death, the murder, the alleged murder of four people, three children, one mother. Um, again, there's a link in the description if you want to go through that in your own time. And there's a link to this song, the song which uh, the the children's father, uh, John and Lacey's father mentioned, The Greatest Showman, Never Enough. <laughs> 